the NA ESL one, the weekly and stuff. I mean, it's impressive for sure. When you watch his play, though, it's exactly what you still expect it to be. Like... Yeah, I mean... It, but if you watch Maru, or if you watch Beyond play, it's still, like... Uh, it's still absolutely like he's not going to make ravens in TVT, and it's like beyond, beyond, like exactly the same as you remember. Like if he had a coach, he'd actually, because he's obviously mechanically really good. Like he always has been, right? Just strategically, that could have been really bad. That could have been really bad, lads. <laughs> I mean, it still was really bad. It was meant to be a house yeah. first. No. Like, Beyond... Like, you were obviously active when Beyond won BlizzCon. Like, he was obvious... Like, I've almost never seen anybody as good as Beyond was then for that period of time. And I don't know if you yeah. feel yeah. kind of similar. Yeah, yeah. Like, he even streamed everything. You, like, you knew exactly what he was going to do to you. But he still beat everybody fucking easy. It was... That was actually, like, one of the most insane periods of time in StarCraft 2, I think. Especially with Terran to do that. Like, with Zerg, you know, you can't... Zerg have been predictable for a long time. But it's just about whether they play better than you or not. What he did that year was actually mental. Are you going to watch Katowice? It starts today, Marine Lord, I think. It starts today, at least. I actually want... I want Clem to make a really good run this time, because Clem's so fucking good. Like, Clem's actually really damn good, isn't he? But it feels like it's been really hard for him in the internationals tournaments. Oh, I wonder if he's going through that phase that you went through, where he discovered, uh, girls. Ah, Tuna, I'm, uh, I'm... Speaking of that earthquake, which is fucking really sad to have happened, I am going to do a charity stream on Friday about it. To help raise funds.
you personally think Marik... Oh, did you, uh, did you play a lot of, uh, StarCraft 13? Yeah, I'm cheering. I, I'm actually cheering for Maru. Like, obviously it's really nice to have all these, uh, foreign Zergs do super well, which they have done. But I would love to see Maru as well do really good. You gonna let him talk about you like this, sir, Tom? You, you can flame him back in my chat, it's fine. He has a really tiny dick. Lee not had the best career out of SC2 people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, in terms of ranking, like, who was the best in, uh... That is brave. Who was the best out of the uh, AOE people? It was Lenok for sure. The Marine Lord. Then the others don't really matter. Basically. <laughs> Oh, 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 I totally forgot about the, um, the, the Spanish bros. My bad, my bad. Forgive, forgive me, Vortex. Forgive me, Luciferon. I think, uh, yeah, out of the, the foreigners, the non-Koreans, Loose from was a legend at the start, but Vortex had the better uh, results and what have you. Without, without, without question. But yeah, I would say, um, oh shit, he's going fast castle. Is he? Looks like it. Could be. Protoss broke me for sure. That shit just wasn't fun anymore to play against. It wasn't even about imbalance necessarily, it was just not fun. And it wasn't like Pearl's player's fault or anything like that, it was just the way it was just set up. Then the right to kill. Then the right to them comfort. 
Me being slow. He's definitely outplayed me here. Let's see what we can get done. There are... I didn't expect that actually. Oh, brutal. Ah, oh, he has no gold income. That's why he's fucked. Uh huh. Yeah, he's really trying for gold, look. Might get that. Oh, we got one. JD Sport with the 11 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So annoying. Was 
Oh, we didn't get the um good upgrade here. It's amazing how much better they become with the heavy mace stuff, isn't it? They go from like, uh, they go to god mode, basically. I should have got this upgrade a while ago. I just got more upgrades with the, uh, the Barrett and Blacksmith in general, I think. Because it was quite a lot on gold. Quite a lot on gold, to say the least. Uh... Round of eight, really? So many upgrades. Maybe we'll get some some horsemen or knights for speed here. Lenox, such a damage junkie. <laughs> Yeah, that isn't going well. At all. Get out of there! They're for a very mixed army. Leonok's such a cutie. Leonok is a cutie. Okay, 
Okay, these crossbowmen don't actually have a um, damage upgrade just yet. I could help. We are getting into this nice position where we've got a uh, nice arc and farm though. Honestly, his army traded a lot better than I thought it was going to. Dude, did I not have wheel baron? I had a wheel baron, didn't I? Alright, GG. Is there a best player in AoE 4? Yeah. Yeah, there is. It's it's unfortunate though because you know sometimes like some sports are kind of defined by who's the best and how good looking they are. Unfortunately for AoE 4, the guy that is the best looks like he got electrocuted after he chewed on uh, power cables. <laughs> <laughs>